So why should you trust me to provide these resources to you as a choir teacher? Well, I am a choir teacher myself, and I think one of the most unique things about my story as a choir teacher that makes me very well positioned to provide these resources to you is, quite frankly, something I was really embarrassed about for a long time as a choir teacher. See, when I graduated from undergrad with my music ed degree, I was so ready to have that dream choir position and landed an amazing one, but I thought, oh, I want to have the big choir program like I had come from, and I was focused on having a lot of numbers within my choir program. but. I was at an academically focused school and as much as I believe and know and preached at that school, unfortunately, and you might have been there too, the arts were just never going to come close to the way in which the school and the community looked at AP Bio and AP US History and the list goes on and on. I had a small number of choirs, sometimes even nine students, and I struggled with thinking, I want to build a big program, and yet I know that's not possible at this small school within the structures of how things have done within the structure of how it was set up. Now, it was wonderful, I love it, I would not have traded it for anything, but I share that story with you for two reasons, technically three. One is oftentimes there is shame around the number of students we have in our choir program. That experience taught me that you can have the most amazing choir program and it can be nine students in a choir, 40 students in a program and it can still be amazing. That number that you are working with of students does not necessarily indicate your self-worth or your ability to be an amazing choir teacher and, and reach students. And I also found that teaching nine students is very different from teaching choirs of 60, which by the end of my teaching career at this last school I was at was the size of one of my ensembles. And I know that there are choirs that are even bigger. I have had the opportunity to be in front of bigger choirs as well. But it is very different when you are teaching a choir of nine versus a choir of 60 versus a choir of 120 versus a choir of 30. And I have experience in all of those different sized choirs and I come to the table with that mindset. Will it work here or will it work here? And if it doesn't, it's not worth it. Now, that's talking about the power of numbers, which, like I said, I learned at that school. Um, I also learned at that school what it was like to have students that were incredibly high achieving in music, A, because they were academically at a level that they were dedicated to doing all the things. Uh, they also had an amazing elementary music school experience. So really, really gifted students in the fact that they came from a privilege of having a wonderful elementary music program and a privilege of a family that supported them in their academic endeavors, so much so that they went to this special school. There was a lot of pressure, be it good or bad, to excel, and that is a certain type of student that I've had the opportunity to work with. I also at that school was very close to the elementary music school teacher too and that's where I really learned and felt the power of what it's like to have a co-teacher of sorts even though we never officially co-taught we were in a sense co-teachers and the power of having someone come alongside you in certain settings to help you grow and give you resources and such and I seek to be a co-teacher to you through the choir baton teaching membership just as Valerie was to me. 
Now, like I said, I've, I've taught at really large schools since, and those students have been amazing, and I have worked with students that come from a myriad of different backgrounds and experience levels, and I've also taught at middle schools where they have no experience to choir music, and when they walk through that front door, sometimes they really just don't even want to be there. They did not sign up for chorus. They got placed in chorus. That is hard, super hard, I know, because I have been there. And same thing when it comes to the size of choirs with which I consider when I make information to you for the Choir Baton Teaching Membership. I also keep in mind the experience level of our singers, and I, I really seek to ensure that the material that I share with you to take into your, cl into your classrooms and rehearsals is material that is approached at a unique way, whether you have a singer with a ton of choral music experience or you have a singer without a ton of choral music experience. Do I hit the mark perfectly on every single time of that perfect equilibrium? Of course not, but that is what makes the teaching membership so different in and of itself because I have both of those experiences and everything in between in my mind. All of that to say, I taught at five different choir, I taught at five different schools, and each one of those schools was so different. I used to be so embarrassed because for me, the ideal choir teacher was all about being at one school and building a 20-year choir program with X amount of this and X amount of that and all the things. What I didn't realize was that by being able to teach at so many different schools, it gave me insight to how so many different schools across the country are different. And oftentimes, all of the choir materials that are available to choir teachers are from the lens of one experience and that one experience being at one school. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but Every school is so different and we need to account for that in the year of 2021 and 2022, now more than ever. We need to be able to adapt and, and be creatively uh, addressing unique situations that we have encountered this year and have not encountered. I know that the material within the Choir Baton Teaching Membership is set up to help you be adaptable. Now, the last thing, and I touched on this before, you have limited time. And the teacher Instagram community for choir teachers and the teacher Instagram or the teacher TikTok community is amazing, awesome. Social media for choir teachers is awesome. And I've really been privileged to see it grow over the last five, six, seven years, but especially within the last year or two. However, with that, comes a lot and it's exhausting and sometimes you want ideas but you don't want to have to log in and see the all the things and begin to compare yourself with that and this and all of that kind of things right like it's great at times but it's also dangerous at times because we can really have it foster that imposter syndrome within us and we don't have time for that or space for that particularly this year much less any year. I want the Choir Baton Teaching Membership to be a haven for you, to where you know it's where you can quickly and tactically get information that you need to go and be successful in your classroom. Whether it's a hack, whether it's something that's building relationships with your students, or whether it's content that you need to bring to your students this year as well. This is what the Teaching Membership is designed to do and how it's designed to serve you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Come hang out with me on Instagram. Come check out all of the Choir of Baton podcast episodes. We are going to be crossing episode 100 in a couple of months. There are so many opportunities for you to learn and grow there as well. And more than anything, know that the mission of Choir of Baton is all about more people singing and I firmly believe that more people singing 
begins with the amazing work that you do in your classroom every single day.